In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I use AI Art Stable Diffusion to generate images and then how I use Adobe After Effects to animate them to create nice, cozy videos. For the first step, let's go to Stable Diffusion website and then let's click Get Started for Free. And here we can just type whatever we want and the Stable Diffusion is gonna generate. Here we have also a few examples what we can type. So I can click on one of those and click Generate Image and that's basically it. Uh, the system is generating the image for us. Voila, you can see final effect here. But we would like to create a cozy picture and if we type just cozy picture, this could be not an Enough. So we need to be a bit more precise. You can do some research on the internet what exactly to type or just you can go to prompt database and then look up for some inspiration. Uh, I'm gonna type something like this. So a photorealistic, hyperrealistic render of an, let's type here, interior cozy by Pixar, Greg Rutkowski. And then we also add Octane render because those renders from Octane are really, really nice looking. We also are gonna add an art station and then 8K. And let's click generate image to see what we can get. So we can see with those words, we can create much better outcome. And we can create once more to generate more ideas. And then when we have a picture ready to go, I like to go to upscale that media site and then upload my image because Stable Diffusion generates those small images. So I really like to go here and just upscale it a bit. So you can see right now the website is processing the image and here we go. And this is my original image and here is um, upscaled. I'm gonna upscale it by four times. We can see here a small preview of the original versus upscaled and it looks nice, so let's just download the image and let's go to Adobe After Effects and do some magic. So here we go, I created a composition, a 4K composition, so 3840 to 160 resolution, I go with 30 frames per second, and here is my upscaled picture, I'm gonna put it at the center, scale it a bit, and now let's move to animation part. So the first thing I see and I would like to animate is this fire. I'm gonna go to pexels.com site and then look up for fire stock videos. This one looks nice so I think we can use it. So let's go back to Adobe After Effects and just put it above our image. Change the blending mode to screen. Let's scale it down and put it here. So I really like to blend the stock videos with the AI generated images and what we can need to also do here is to create a mask and just feather the mask a bit. So in most cases, this simple blending trick should do the work. Now let's add a second layer. I'm gonna look up for some sparks. Okay, I found something like this. And again, let's just use a screen blending mode. And also this, is, uh, this video is too sharp. I'm gonna add a bit of blur. And let's put here a value of maybe 0.3. We also want to reduce those white values at the sides. I'm gonna add a levels and just turn down the video a bit. And now let's use rotation and also the scale. We can also reduce the opacity a bit and draw a mask, add a mask feather. Okay, so we can see a small details, but it adds a bit to our scene. Really, really simple stuff. Now I really like to add a new adjustment layer and add some color correction. So I'm gonna add the, uh, the layer CC, which stands for color correction. And then I'm gonna add curves and make this scene a bit more cozy. And now I'm gonna add a nice effect from Red Giant, Shine. And you can already see that this is the magic. Let's go to Shimmer, Amount and boost it a bit. Let's reduce the quality because the, this effect is a bit uh, CPU heavy. Okay, this looks nice. And now I'm gonna animate a face here. So let's put one keyframe here and the second at the end. And let's see what we have. So you can see how nice it animates the light from our fireplace. We can also play here with shine opacity. I'm gonna use a simple wiggle expression, maybe 10 and 40, let's see. It plays with the opacity of this shine effect, but maybe this is too strong. 
really really subtle but it adds to our cozy scene. Okay and I really like to add a bit of movement to this whole scene so I add camera shake which is also a plugin from Red Giant and you can see what this do. Of course right now this is too strong, let's change those values here. I'm gonna put here 35.2 and scale footage 100. And we have this gentle movement. And let's add the last effect, CC vignette. This adds a nice vignette at the sides. Our focus is more into the fireplace. And at the end, what I really like to add also is a bit of particles. So I just go to pexels.com, I just type particles, and we can add this at the top of our footage. Or maybe not this one, but something like this, for example. Let's scale it. Change the bending mode to screen, again add maybe curves and play with colors of those particles. So you can see right now let's solo this layer, if I play with a green curve I can change those color values of this layer. I would like to make those particles red, so I'm gonna play with those curves and just see what looks best. Okay, this looks nice and what we also can add here is a bit of dust or smoke. So again we go to pexels.com, we just type smoke or dust and we look up for some nice uh, videos. I have one here which is also from Pexels and I just use again a screen blending mode and add a curve play with those values. I said this few times already but just trust your eyes and see what works best for your art. You can put also those layers below our CC but I really like to add above and make sure that they are not affected by this adjustment layer. We could also add a camera lens blur at the beginning to introduce our scene. Here we're gonna put zero and at the start a high value and we have a nice introduction to our video. Let's also add levels, put a keyframe here, let's at the beginning make it a bit darker and let's see the final result. And that's it for today's video, I hope you liked it, I hope you learned something from it. Please give a like, comment and subscribe to see more of this kind of videos. You can follow me up on Instagram, the link is down in the description. And AI art is really really big right now, so don't skip it, have fun with it, create something beautiful. And what can I say more? To the next time, bye.